It's the battle of the super coaches. <laughs> Hello my friends, welcome on in, welcome home here to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well today, I really do hope that namaste. Football is at the business end of the season and stuff is getting real. Thomas Tuchel's impeccable blues are in the FA Cup final, the Champions League final against Pep Guardiola. More on him in a moment. And of course are still in the battle for top four to offer that added security of European qualification at the top echelons at least, the Champions League. Today is your preview for the dress rehearsal against Manchester City champions elect who are looking to win the league. But the truth is, they are going to win the league regardless. This game is bigger for Chelsea, but it has different connotations. A dress rehearsal for the Champions League final, will it unnerve the opposition who lose? Massive implications, if you ask me, and I'm going to be talking about it today. Do consider subscribing to this channel, Football Therapy, if you're new to the experience. What the hell is that noise? I don't know if you can hear that. Drop a like on the video if you want to show your support to me, your friend Yannick, as we get into today's match preview. Anyway, this is a gargantuan fixture. Over the last couple of days, I've heard pundits, journalists and analysts talk about how potentially Chelsea and Manchester City are the most two impressive teams in world football at the moment. They have also murmured maybe Bayern Munich, but if you look at how both teams are coached and how both teams are performing as a collective unit, it's hard to disagree. Now, when it comes to this game, Manchester City have had an extra day's rest. They are at home, so Chelsea have to travel as well. So, slight advantage City, but hey, this is football. Chelsea will be flying high in terms of confidence and they do have a big squad to turn to and rotate and I'll be doing a predicted lineup for this game which is going to be difficult. Thomas Tuchel had his press conference just now and he confirmed that Mateo Kovacic will not be ready for this game, hopefully Arsenal slash FA Cup final. So disappointing, especially when we demand so much from our midfield. Guys, can you hear that? There's some like murderous machine outside my apartment making a lot of noise and trying to prevent me from recording my video. Fortunately it's moving around so when it goes away I can carry on talking but when it goes past the apartment again I have to I have to stop talking, it's happening again. Anyway, in terms of Manchester City, they'll have to do some heavy rotation as well. Look, this is a really interesting game for a couple of reasons, because it's not only just trying to win the game. Obviously, it's more important to Chelsea, because, like, it's, like I said, Man City will win the title, but it's about keeping your power to dry, keeping your cards close to your chest. Oh, shut the f*** up. Will the coaches from each respective club want to give away their game plan to the opposition for the Champions League final, or will they want to do some alternate plan, get the opposition coach thinking they're going to do that for the final, then bring out the main plan after all. Do you know what I mean? So there's a game of like 4D psychological chess potentially going on to try and get the best out of the situation. When it comes to Man City, they play two very good teams. Of course, their best team played in the Champions League with the false nine, the front three of uh, KDB, Mares and Phil Foden been in the league. He's been playing Jesus and Sergio Aguero who both obviously are very good players and they could get a run out against Chelsea. As a Chelsea fan, I would prefer if Pep Guardiola went with that formation or certainly those players to be selected because I think that would bode well for us. We'd have more a better chance of beating them in the league, but you could also expect them not to play that in the Champions League final. Like I said though, massive, whoever wins this is going to have a psychological boost for the aforementioned Champions League final. And, you know, it, it's, a, it's a big confidence boost. So it's a real, really, really intriguing game. Uh, much more than it would be usually, of course, City trying to win the league, Chelsea trying to get top four would make it a big game regardless, but because of the connotations of the European Cup final, everyone's watching it going, ooh, additional narrative. Anyway, let's try and develop a lineup to get developed. Let's try and predict a lineup together. So let's change over screens now and I'll show you what I'll come up with. The business end of the season would dictate that Edouard Mendy will remain in goal, who's been making scintillating and impressive saves in net at the moment. So he absolutely, and of course, starts for me. I do see Thiago Silva being rested and he's being utilized mainly in the Champions League. 
So I see Andreas Christensen returning to the middle of the back three with Cesar Azpi Laqueta to his right and I can actually see Kurt Zuma coming in to his left but at the same time I would not be surprised if superb recent performer Antonio Rudiger keeps his place but for this lineup I'm going to go with Christensen flanked by Azpi Laqueta on the right who will have to do less running than a wing back position and Kurt Zuma on his left. I don't expect Marcus Alonso to come back in at a big game at this point so Ben Chilwell should retain his place but imagine the scenes if uh, Emerson starts actually I don't know why I'm saying that Emerson either plays left centre back or left wing for Tuchel so let's be real it's gonna be Ben Chilwell at left wing back a heavily trusted player for Thomas Tuchel is of course Rhys James who is defensively resolute but very good going forwards as well a young player who's rested strong and probably chomping at the bit to prove himself a little bit more and get some more game time recently so Rhys James will do all the running at right wing back in front of Cesar Azpilicueta. We know Mateo Kovacic isn't fit to start. I cannot see Billy Gilmore coming into this game and I don't see Mason Mount dropping into the midfield. So it's, it's gonna have to be serious, serious recovery for Jorginho and Kante. And Kante ran 12 kilometers in the Champions League, fasting for Ramadan as well. I mean, it's insane. Hopefully that he gets cleared to pass, but I would not be surprised at all. And I just have to put Jorginho and Kante into the midfield. Now, there is a lot of running in the front three. So I think we'll see Hakim Ziyech, Pulisic, and it has to be Mason Mount. He's that important to Chelsea. Now, I've made predictions before where I've dropped Timo Werner, and he just always magically appears in the lineup. And he plays well. I don't want to, you know, this is not slandering Timo Werner. But I just think... Mason Mount's more important in that number sort of false nine, number 10 role. But I see wide forwards like Pulisic running in the left channel. And of course, Hakim Ziyech is built for that right channel. He is trusted by Thomas Tuchel. He sees his quality. And although he plays, Tuchel makes the noises of he wish he could play some more. Pulisic was excellent. He was unlucky to not start against Real Madrid in the second leg. And he likes that left channel. So it may be wrong, but I'm going to go for Mount behind Ziyech and Christian Pulisic. Anyway, let's change over screens and talk about this game a little bit more. Massive! The fact how Chelsea are gonna have a tired midfield with their only real two options at the moment, it really is devastating that Mateo Kovacic isn't available. So a knackered midfield is really worrying. Ben Chilwell will probably be pretty shagged out as well and he's got to run up and down. And Mason Mount, Mason Mount seems to always recover. He did look at one point under Lampard that he was starting to slow down when really tired. His recovery apparently is magnificent, says Thomas Tuchel. He's impressed of how Mason Mount seems to always be available. But at what one point, something's got to give. Still, for me, massive game. He's so important. He's one of the most important players. He needs to start in that sort of, in the hole. So I, in, I don't, there's a heavy rotation. Ch Chelsea will have quality on the pitch and they'll have good enough quality to beat Manchester City, regardless if they will have a good game. I'm gonna do a score prediction. And this is always really, really, really difficult, especially now against the, maybe the best team in Europe uh, with us being a bit tired and a rotated side. It's a way as well, I think, I th I'm, I'm not going to get too gassed. I'd absolutely adore and love a win. I don't think a draw would be the worst thing in the world, but because of the situation and the rotation and how good Man City are, I'm going to be a little bit careful and I'm going to say a one all draw. Um, and that will leave it because completely poised for the Champions League final. But the fact how I think we'll have to rotate a little bit more, maybe, depending on it. It really depends on Man City. If they put out a proper B team, then we could go out and win. But if they play a pretty strong team and we have to rotate a bit more than they do, and we've got less rest and have to travel, I think how good they are, I'd, I still think would be good for a draw because we're that good at the moment. But I'm going to give it a one-all prediction with a massive, you know, touch wood hope we win the game. But let me know what you guys think. What do you think, like, who do you think will start this game? Who do you think should start this game? Um, and let me know your scoreline predictions. And also, do you think Thomas Tuchel and Pep Guardiola are the best two coaches in the game right now? People might say two of the best three teams, maybe with Bayern Munich, but how good is Hansi Flick as a coach? Is he really a Pep Guardiola level? I'd be really interested to get everyone's opinions on this kind of stuff, so make sure you, you open up a discussion down in the comment section below on this video, my sweet and loving football fandom friends. 
If you've enjoyed my content, please do drop a like. It really means a lot and shows your support to me. Subscribe if you're new. Hey, subscribe if you're not new, but you're not subscribed. Come on, click that button. All right. <laughs> I'll see you soon, guys. Enjoy the football. I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.